Welcome to the hat room. My name is Mike, director of life support here at DIT. I'm gonna show you some hats. We've got almost every make and model of hat out there in the industry, so our students get an opportunity to dive everything that's out there, so they get a good experience of trying all the different makes and models, seeing what works for them. So here we have the Mark V. Um, Mark V's been around for about 100 years. We still use this in the industry today. It's not common, but it's used in high current situations because the helmet itself weighs about 85 pounds with the breastplate. You add in the canvas suit, weight belt, lead boots, you're packing about 200 pounds of weight on you, so it's easy to get to the bottom and stay on the bottom during high current situations. You got the Savoy here in the center, first stainless steel hat ever designed. Only a handful of them left in the world. We still have one here. We take good care of it, so our students get to experience that and dive that. Navy transitioned over to the Mark 12. This was their first transition away from the Mark 5. Uh, weighs about 75 pounds. Uh, it's full of lead. It's used primarily today in contaminated water diving, um, where it marries into a fully vulcanized rubber suit to keep all the bad stuff you're diving in out. Um, same as with the Descos, that's used for just contaminated water diving. Then moving on to the 17 Bs. These came out in the early 60s. This, this model right here pretty much revolutionized the commercial diving industry. This is what changed the equipment that we use today. And everything's pretty much based off of this model right here. Um, for welding, we've just got a simple welding attachment. It goes on the face port right there. Flip it, flip it up and down, just like your normal welding hood. This hat right here, and, and along with all the Kirby Morgan models, roughly between 28 and 30 pounds. But once you get in the water, that becomes positively buoyant. Big difference, uh, Mark V is a free flow hat. Kirby Morgan runs off a demand mode regulator, so much like a scuba regulator, but instead of having a mouthpiece you're biting on, you've got an oral nasal that fits inside your helmet. So here at DIT, you get a Kirby Morgan user operator certification. It pretty much allows you to do the pre and post dive setup, so getting the hat ready online safely, uh, and then getting it broke down, cleaned, and ready for stowage at the end of the day. 